And he said, listen, restore everything that was hers. Matter of fact, let's all stand up. Because this is what's going to happen once you've honored the prophetic. You've aligned with the prophetic. And you've made sure you are devoted to that prophetic portal. He said, listen, I'm going to restore everything that was hers, including all the produce of the field since the day that she left the land till now. Even those things over the last seven years that people took from that field while she had to be in absence, I'm going to restore that. Now look at somebody while you're standing up and say, you ain't lost nothing that it can't bring back. So this is what I want to end with. As I drove through all what God has done down here since 94 or whenever, it's amazing. But he's going to do more. He's going to complete things he's begun. He's going to do it in your lives. And you're going to find certain ites that you didn't understand in last season, just like David was the only one that could finally take out the Jebusites. Even all those that went into the promised land couldn't take out the Jebusite. David had to before he got his apostolic anointing. His kingly anointing. It was his first assignment. Those Jebusites that I said would be taken out 800 years ago, if you're going to rule as king, you're going to take them out. See, all of a sudden, we're all changing. But remember this, you wouldn't be here if you didn't have that call to the remnant for the future. You wouldn't be here if you weren't some way devoted to the prophet that has come before. But by being devoted to the prophet that comes before, I'm going to give you everything, a strategy to gain back and divinely recover everything that's been taken from you. See, that's a promise tonight. So you're going to know your enemies. You're going to really say, I'm not afraid to go to war. I mean, all I've got to do is walk out the door. I'm not afraid to go to war. I'm not going to spread fear where I go. I'm going to demonstrate faith, which is opposite. I'm going to be open to God telling me things that I couldn't understand, so in days ahead, I can understand. See, that's a perfect, what happens with a prophetic portal. I'm going to also know that there is a season that's ending and a season that's intensifying. And in it, I'm going to know who I'm aligned with. I'm going to know where those portals are. And I'm going to know how to get what I need to get and send other people to get what they need to get. 
He cracked the door for him. And I knew it was so God that his fragrance overtook their smell. You need to know we are shifting into the new. And if you're still breathing here tonight, you're part of that shift. Now, Father, I loose this anointing over everyone here that walks in this portal. I say divine, futuristic, Warfare revelation will come down on them. I say, Lord, incredible divine recovery will happen to them. And Lord, I decree right now that in the midst of us taking a step into the future, we are all about to see a demonstration and activation and Lord, I say sovereignly, supernaturally, find a way to show us your power. He cracked the door. He brought me a blueberry cobbler. He found the 18,000 that someone else needed over something I had done years ago and it forgotten about. There are blessings you have forgotten about that are on the way. I have had a very supernatural last 10 days. I impart that anointing on you and say, let it begin. And I decree right now that you will see him move in ways you have never seen him move before. And we say this portal will intensify with his prophetic power. Let's give a shout and thank God for what he's doing.